What up? Hello. Didn't that one sound weird? Should I try, try should I try it again? Do it again. What up? Hello. Hi. You, how are you? Now you're out doing yours. How are you going? That's not how you talk. Okay. All right. Guess what I did the other day. Ooh, I've got two things to tell you that I've done that you know nothing about. Really? Okay, what'd you do? Okay, well, the other day, the day that you were like, hey, take the car and do laundry, like, because I was being a crybaby about taking the car. Yeah. Um, that day, since I had the car and I was in Jack's family's neighborhood, oh. I drove around and I was like, I'm going to find his parents' house and I'm going to ask, or I'm not going to ask for his number. I'm going to give them my information be like mm. pass the pass the baton right that's what i'm thinking so um so before i start driving through this neighborhood looking for a house i probably haven't been in in like five or six years um i'm at the the laundry mat and the tv is playing and they're playing like whatever that's called when they're recreating crimes and they're like so the whole time i'm mm. just listening to these stories of like dramatization yes of like people like sneaking up and doing some shady shit and then they kill you and then nobody knows who this sneaky person is and it's just all bad right and i don't mm. watch stuff like that because i'm a very sensitive person however I get sucked into TV because I'm a sucker. <laughs> if TV's on, I will watch it. Like, I have no shame in that. I love it. Um, I know this about you. It's it's very mesmerizing. Maybe because I... I don't know. Anyway. So, I'm hearing all these horror stories and I'm completely sucked in. I'm like, who's the killer? How did bitch go down? Right? This is what I'm thinking. Um, and then... After, I don't know, like 45 minutes of hearing like traumatic stories and like families being like, we don't know where our daughter is. Okay. Then I get in the car and I'm driving through this neighborhood and it's like in creeping by every house, right? As slow as possible. And I, it's bad. I just feel very uncomfortable. And, um, and finally I'm like, the thing is, the house they had five, like the last time I was at, the whole time I've known him, they had an American flag in their front yard yeah. or like whatever. So I'm driving around looking for this flag. I'm like, this is, this is going to be the beacon of light, right? This is going to mm -hmm. guide me. I'm going to figure it out. I could not find it. I was like, I don't even know if I'm in the right neighborhood. I'm pretty, I was like, I was confident it was this street, but... I don't know so I knock on a door and I don't know it just felt Is very it the door no, no I didn't find right I didn't find shit <laughs> but but I did freak myself out because I'm like what if I'm the killer now <laughs> it was so or what if I'm like knocking on killers door right what if what if the TV is like like what do you call that? Like, give me a premonition. What if the TV's like, all right, there are killers out there. Don't go knocking on strangers' doors. You know better than this. You're an adult, right? And then, oh, I was I was driving down the alleyway. I was like... You're going down alleyways? They have... Well, yeah. I was like, they had a sunroom. <laughs> Maybe I can take a sneak peek. Maybe I will notice some sort of... I didn't notice shit. You'll get the cops called on you. Dude, that's exactly how I was feeling. I was like, I don't have the right vibe for any of this. <laughs> I knocked on three doors and then an old man walked by. He was like doing his daily walk and I was like, hey, do you know anybody by this name? And he was like, I've been here, for, I think he said like 50, 30 years or something. He was like, he just looked at me like, who the fuck are you? Like, you know, <laughs> take a hike, toots. Get back in your car and pedal away. Like, that's the look he gave me. And I was feeling it, too. I was like, I need to get back in the car. <laughs> that's seriously how I felt. And that sounds so dumb. Um, and that's how I spend my free time when no one's looking. <laughs> the other thing I was going to tell you was... And I don't know why I feel so inspired to tell you, but I, last night when you were gone, I washed my hair in the shower, but
but like my body <laughs> was not <laughs> My body was. <laughs> I noticed you like to do these things separately. It wasn't in the shower. <laughs> how did I? How did it even work? It worked. This this new place that we're in, the shower heads are like two feet lower than any shower head should ever be, and just the direction that it is supplanted on the wall is perfect, somehow, for trying it out. It worked out. It didn't take less effort. It took more effort than if I just would have jumped in. But it felt really, it felt right. I don't know. <laughs> it felt really, it felt, it felt right. It felt very good. I was like, man, I'm just going to shower in a compartmentalized way all the time. And I'll always be clean. You see this logic? Yeah, I guess. I don't think you do. <laughs> Peace.